So, welcome, gentlemen. Um, in this exercise, I am going to show us how we can maximize um, what we can use Epanet to design a water reticulation like this system. What you have here is an what you have here is an estate. It could be an estate, it could be a district, it could be a, a, reg a region. Uh, so I'm going to use Epanet to model this in the next 31 hour. Now, um, this is a layout. This is like a map. This is like what you need, the first input parameter you need to model any system in Epanet. Now, if you look at this, this map, you see that the map has topo, has level, has coordinate, uh, contour lines. These contour lines mm -hmm. are indication of the level above sea level or above any reference at that point. Now, mm -hmm. what you have here is also the, the, you can also see the streets. This is like the road driving down. And then the black spot you have, you see, are like the houses that are lining the two sides of the road. Now, for you to model it in, in um, computer, in Ethernet, this is what we're expected to get at the end of the day. We're expected to get something like this in Ethernet at the end of the day. So once we get something like this, we can now develop a chart like this, where you can see that we, all, we now have all the parameters in the chart. So this is what we are going to be doing. So if I, if, I, if I rotate this view, for instance, you see that station one, storage tank to point one, the length is 120 meters. The Q, we don't know. The I, we don't know, but yesterday we got them. We did it yesterday, but we're going to put values there now. So I'm going to draw model this in Ethernet, and this is what I'm expected to get. So this is what I'm expected to get. So to start with, what the first thing I have to do is to import this drawing into Ethernet. Meanwhile, let me open my Ethernet and show us Ethernet. This is the view of Ethernet, introduction to Ethernet. Here you have the network map. What you have here is your network map. Then here you have your menu bars. Then here you have your standard two bars. And here you have your two bars. If you want to know the, the what any of the two bar means, just hover your mouse around it. This one means add label. This one is a valve. This one is a pump. This one is a pipe. This one is a tank. This one is a reservoir. This one is a junction. This one is zoom extent. This one is zoom in, this one is zoom out. Uh, this one is pan. So these are all tools you are going to be using. Then if you look down here, you see auto length off. When auto length is off, it means any value that we put in here does not represent the real value. But if you put auto length on, then any value that we put in here represents the value real time. Then here you have the browser window. Under the browser window, there's a data window and there's a map window. The map window here is for viewing results, while the data window here is for is putting in your input variables. If you open this flyout, you see all the tools that I'll be using. So if I have a tank, if I click on reservoir, it will tell, show me the reservoir. If I click on pipe, it will show me the pipes. If I click on anything, it will show me what that thing is. Now, for me to start, first of all, I have to set my defaults. So I'll go to project, default. Um, normally, if you open your, your system here, here will be blank. I will say every junction should be J. Every reservoir should be R. Every tank should be TK, or let me say TAKM. Every pump pipe should be, be P underscore. I will not put any variable, I'll just put P underscore. Then I'll come to, I'll go down and come to increment. I'll put one as increment. Why am I putting one as increment? If I put one as increment, if I click P, if I have pipe one, the next pipe will be pipe two, and so on and so forth. I will say, okay. Now, I will go to back to my Adobe. Watch me, I'm very careful. I'm going to screenshot this thing. Because it's in PDF, I need it to be in JPEG. 
There are two system files that Apanet recognizes. They are JPEG and meta files. I'll still show us our meta files. So either I come here, I will click on this image, highlight it. After highlighting it, I will now say copy. I'll copy it. Now I need a program that will convert it to JPEG for me. So normally I use Paint. There's a program called Paint in your system. When I open Paint, I will say Control V. I will go to Paste. I will say Paste. It will be pasted. Look at what I just copied. It has been pasted here. Okay. Now I will go to Save. I will say Save as Bitmap. Please take note. Save as Bitmap. I will choose where to save it. I will save it on my desktop and I'll call it Abuja Water. Now, if you are saving your picture, always save it in the same folder that you're doing your design so that you can easily find it because sometimes the link can be broken and therefore you need to reset it again. But they are safe. So I will save it as Abuja Water as bitmap. I'll say save. I will close this. Then I'll go back to Epanet. I'll go to view. Okay. I'll go to dimension. No, I'll go to backdrop. Already, I have to go to dimension true and say this thing to meters and say, okay, very important. I'll go to view again. I'll go to backdrop. And I get to backdrop. I will say load. I'll go and search for that JPEG that I, Abuja water that I save as JPEG. I'll go and find it and then use it. So this is it here. This is it here, Abuja water. I'll click on it and I'll say open. It will open in Ethernet. Look at it. This will now form my background map. It will be like my background map. And from that background map, I can now digitize. I can digitize on it. So I'll start to digitize. The first thing I need here is a storage tank. It's a storage tank. This is the first thing I need. This is the tank. Now the supply can be anywhere. So I'll go here and I'll click on tank. I'll drop it here. Okay. Then the second thing I need is a junction. I'll pick on this junction. I'll come to this junction and I'll drop it. Now, if the if the left, if I drop it, I'll go and click this black arrow and deselect. So I can be free to click anywhere and move around. Because if you click on this junction and you keep clicking anywhere, it will keep adding junction for you. So if you look at here, I've added one junction. J1. Now, this junction appears to be small. I'm not seeing it very well. For me to see it very well, I'll go and increase the size. I'll go to view. I'll go to options. Under option, I'll increase this to five. Under link, i increase it to two. Link is a pipeline. Five. Under annotation, I'll click on the first three. I'll say display this, display this, display this. Under symbol, I'll leave it the way it is. Under arrow, I'll say fill arrow. Under background, I'll choose if I like this background, I want to choose a darker background. For now, I'll choose, I can choose this background. I say okay. Or I can leave it as a white background, depending on which one I want. You can do you notice that the, 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 the thing is bigger now? It's bigger because I've increased the font, the size to about five. Now I'll go back to node now. I'll go back to node, I'll pick on node. I'll add, the first thing I'll do, I'll, I'll add all my nodes. Okay, this is the beginning node, this is the end node. Then the, this is the beginning node, this is the end node. This is the beginning, this is the beginning node, this is the end node. This is the beginning node, this is the end node. This is the beginning node. Then I'll add another one here. Please. I'll come here Sorry, and I'll add another one. Remember what I'm trying to get? Hello? That diagram I showed us earlier on. Yeah, so, but how, how did you bring this to Epanet? Hello? So I'll finish adding my nodes. I'll go and drop it by clicking this black arrow. The next thing, I'll add my pipelines. So I'll click on this pipeline. I'll come here, click on this, and I'll click here. I've added the pipeline. I'll click here. 
I'll click here. Add the map line. I'll click here. I'll, I'll, you can see that the pipelines are not aligning. They are not, they are not aligning, but don't worry, I'll, I'll align them very well. I'll drop here. I'm supposed to add one junction here. I'll quickly go there and add one junction. Then quickly go back to pipe and add a pipe that will stretch to that point. How do you know if you're working? If you if you click if you click on the node, it will turn to a pencil, something like a pencil. Then if you click at the middle of the next the other one, it will disappear. That tells you that you've got to the middle. If not, to keep going on, and that means you're wrong. You make sure it touches the center. Now, I finished adding my pipe, but it's not looking too good. So I'll come here and choose Vertex. Vertex, this is Vertex. I'll come here, I'll click, right click on it. I'll say Add Vertex. If you say add vertex, you will not see anything, but go back there again and add another vertex. And add another, I've added three vertices. So these vertices are flexible. So if I click on this vertex, I'll highlight it. I'll move my hand. I'll now hold and press it. Yeah, it's aligned. For this one, I'll click on the pipe, right click on it and say add vertex. Click on the pipe again, right click and say add vertex. I added one, added mm -hmm. two. Let me say this two is enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks a bit good now. For this one, I'll right click. Remember what I said, I'll go back to vertex. This vertex, select vertex. I'll right click and say add vertex. I'll right click again and say add vertex. Two, three, four. You can add up to 20, but the, the smaller you add, the better for you so I can control it. So for this one now, I'll right click. I'll click on the wire before you add vertex. I have, I have to click on the pipe first. I'll click on the pipe, right click, and say add vertex. I click again, add vertex. I click again, add vertex. I'll play like three vertices. I will right click on this one, drag it. If you don't add vertices, this will not happen because. If it's not enough, I can click again and add more. Add the text. Add the text. Hello, sir. One funny thing about Ethernet is that you cannot undo. Okay. So you have to be careful. So this is it. Ah, I didn't put pipe along this axis. Okay, this one. I right click add vertex. Add vertex. <laughs> Okay, I'll go. On, I'll drop it and click pipe. There's no pipe from here. 
here. I'll go and click on vertex again. So I can put it in line. So, you can see, this one is not looking good, but I, I think I can still push it this side. So, I finished drawing my map. If I want to take a look, I'll see how my map look like. I will now come here and say unload. If I say unload, it will remove the picture, but I can load it back again. So this is what I have. This is what I have. So it looks almost like that. If I want to bring that back the map again, I'll say load. Um, load. I'll go to my desktop where I saved it. I'll put your water to load back. So I think something is missing somewhere here. This is not supposed to be. Let me delete this pipe. Sorry, I'll use pan, pan zoom, and pan it back. So you can see, I've modeled this network. So the next thing I need to do now, somebody's chatting me up, is to now start to impute all those value we got yesterday. Okay, so that is that. So you can see, this is how to model your Ethernet distribution network in in um, in in um, using Ethernet. So this is how you model. So the next thing I have to do now is I will now come here, number thirteen. I will double click on it. It will tell me the coordinates, which is just based on here. The elevation, it will tell me. The elevation I will impute the base demand I impute. So I'll be imputing two variables on the node and two variables. Um, on the on the um, pipe. So if I want to put any value for the pipe, let's say this pipe six to seven, six to thirteen. I'll come here. I'll double click on the pipe. You see, this is giving you pipe twelve. I will tell you, it's giving you the pipe ID, the start node ID, the end node ID, then the length. This length is one thousand because by default we said auto length off. But if you want to put other letter on, it will give you exactly the value of this, this pipe, pipe 12, or in our own book, 6 to, six to 13. But for you to do that, you must scale that drawing. You must scale it. You must make sure that the, the scale is what is known. So that once you draw a small segment, it will capture it. When you draw a bigger segment, it will capture it. I hope that's understood. So this is how you model it in a planet. So the next thing you now do is all those values that we got yesterday, you will now start to impute them. So for the purpose of this class, we are going to use um, some, some of the values yesterday. Um, for instance, if I go to note 13, I would say that the water demand, if you remember the water demand in note 13 is about 1.058. That's what we got yesterday. And the elevation at note 13, if you look at it here, it's written here. This is the elevation. It's about 250. Okay. I've modeled this one. Then I'll go to the pipe delivering to nodes. This pipe 12. I'll double pipe 12. What is what do you think is the length of pipe 12? Let's say the length is um let's say the length is um let's say 700 meters. For instance, and then what diameter did we get? I think we got, got diameter 65. I think it's about that we got. So, um, before I do that, let me just do one thing. Now, let me make sure that my dimensions are in the right um, unit. Mm -hmm. So, I'll go me and say liter per seconds. I'll say okay. I'll also go here, default, no. Project default 
summary, you no know? view dimension. I'll make sure that dimension is in meters. I'll say okay. So so I will I'll be clicking on all the nodes and be putting those values we got. Here we got one point mm. huh? Am I right? Yeah, we got one point four one, I think. Base demand is one point four one. And the elevation at that point. Uh the elevation is about um which pipe, which line is passing through that line. It's about okay. This look at this one. This pipe two sixty. So it's about two sixty meter by both eleven. Then this are we then don't that eleven. So the eleven, I think we got um zero point four six. And the elevation at note there is um two seventy. We can, you can read, that, read off the elevation from the chart, from the from the table, from the exact table I told us about. Then, how about the pipe? This pipe is about 100. I think that's what we got that day. Oh, right, yesterday. Uh, sorry, 100 here. And the length of the pipe should be, let's say, 600 meters. But all these things I'm doing, it's not like I'm just inputting length and diameter. No, you must have calculated them and then pick them up from your table and then transfer them here. Because mm -hmm. what Ipanes does, does for you, I've always said it, is that it models and simulates. You know, in the age of modeling, if you do something, someone should be able to see. Mm -hmm. If you tell me that the, the, the demand here is about 200, I want you to model it and let me see when the demand moves from 200 to 50 based on the demand pattern I have attached. So junction seven from our drawing, the elevation, is about um, two six five, and the demand there is about zero point three six three nine. So I can't remember. Yeah, enter. And how about the type? Diameter is eighty, for instance. Yeah, and the length is about half hundred meters. 400 meters. Press enter. If you put any value in Ethernet, you have to press enter. So this is how I'll be going. The elevation here, the elevation here is 260 again. And the base demand is about um, 0 0.39 or something about. This pipe should be 80 mm for the roughness. The length should be like 200 meters. The pipe. See, as you're going up, the pipe sizes are increasing. The base demand here is about, um, that's base number nine. I think we got 0 0.87. We'll be doing this, the junction, all the junction, all the pipeline, you will be putting their value. You have to, it's a very, it's a prerequisite. Elevation here is um, 260, and the base demand is, uh, I think it's 3.13. How about the pipe? The pipe is 1 to 100 mm also. So, um, Is 
the man is 0 0.23. It's like I have them. Look, we did all this thing yesterday. And it's uh, 278 is the elevation. Look at it. Look at the elevation here. Uh -huh. This is 270. This is 280. So the elevation between this and this, which is about 278 or so. Then this one is 5.125. We'll do. Base demand there is about two, three point one three, I think. At this the five. So I will put all the values for all the nodes from all the all the node seven is about two point eight six, I think. And the elevation there is about two six five. Here the elevation is two eighty, and the demand is about I think four point four something four point four five. So we do it sequentially, making sure nothing is omitted. If you omit anything, that could be a problem. This one should be 150 per mm pipe. And how about the tank? Elevation of the tank is about 320. It's missing there. Initial level, maximum level. You put what you know. So this is the tank, I'm sending the tank. This is all these parameters of the tank, I can put it. So if you go through, um, I think I think I've inputted all. I don't think anyone is left. But well, let's just cross check. Let's just cross. That's why you need to start from the smallest. Okay, I noticed that something is missing here. This tree does not have pipe. So what I'll do quickly is to delete this one and then put a node here. And then put the pipe. So I've put in a new pipe for these streets. So I can use vertex again. Align is very well. So this is it. So I'll model I'll go here and click again. So this is now the network. If I want to see at any time I want to see what I've done. I'll just click on backdrop. I'll say on loot. So you can compare this with this. You know that they are they are similar. The two designs are the same. But watch this. Mm -hmm. Watch this and then watch this. You see, I've muted it. Now, if you look here, you see all the pipes, their names, there are about 14 pipes. If you want to see how many junction we have, you go to junction. We have about 13 junction. If you want to know how many reservoirs we get, we don't have reservoir. If you want to know how many tank we get, say one tank. So
So that is what I will expect everyone of us to do. So here now, if you finish, you run this, you click on this to run your simulation. Now simulation says there are problems. And what are the problems? It told me that there are negative pressures. Negative pressure means there, there must be, there, there. okay, this new pipe that I included, I have not de designed it. I mean, maybe that's what is causing the negative pressure in the system. So I've, I've, I've designed it here. The base demand will be zero, zero, zero point three five. Elevation here will be two five two six eight. Enter. So you can see our model everywhere. All the junction has the elevation. All the pipe has parameters. We will call a model. So I will now come here. This symbol as a run. You see, there's still problem. Um, I will go back again because there's still problem. That's the good thing about this software. There's problem. If you tell you there's problem, and you go and solve the problem. Oh, here does not have a division, sorry. So the division here will be So anyone that does not have, you have to impute it. Taking cognizance of the length of the pipe, very important. So it's still giving me negative pressure, but I'll troubleshoot it until I get rid of it. If it's something you did really on real time, it will give you, as a, okay, look at this one, diameter is still um, it's very small. Maybe that's why it's not causing the problem. So this is not a computer model. So here I will run it. Um, because I didn't use exact value, it's still giving me negative pressure. It means water is not flowing somewhere. Um, the diameter is 150, the diameter is 125, the diameter is 80, the diameter is 100, the diameter is 80. So, the only this guy is again 100, and it will be 80.
Okay. Uh, apology, please. I think the, net, the network had issue. So, uh, back to what I was doing. So, you can see. So, if I want to view any any parameter, I will come here. If I want to view, view the whole base demand, I'll come here. And then, I will, here I'll view the, let's say the flow. It will tell me the flow at every point. So, now, if I'll finish now, I report, um, I can decide to submit my report. If I go to report now, I will say table reports. Okay. Now I've run my model. My model says successful. Once it says successful, it means I'm good to go. And because it has said successful, I can go to reports. I'll click on full reports. I'll save full reports for water. I'm saving it on my desktop. On my desktop, watch me. I will now click on save. Now I can go to my desktop now. Uh, look for it. Um, I'm going to find it. Look at um, full reports. Sorry. Uh, look at it here. Full report. I will right click on it. And I will say open with Open with Word. I'll go to Word and say OK. So it's going to open it with Word. This is the report of what I've done now. So this is the report. To give me the report. Mm. To give you the report. At all the junction. At, you're gone. All the nodes, all the junction, I can see the report. This is the head at all those points. You see, this is the head. Then this is the pressure. These are the pressure. So that's why I say to simulate. Then these are the demand. Remember, I'm the one that put the demand. The quality, we didn't model for quality. So that's why it's giving us zero, zero for quality. Then that's not all. Uh, look at the flow. The flow at every point. Look at the flow. Remember, we are not supposed to put this flow. Then look at the velocity based on my parameter. So when you see things like this, you begin to know where your errors are. Like for instance, this velocity of 0 0.08 is too low. So I had to go there and walk and see ah, what's happening at, what's happening at, at uh, 0 0.6, okay? 5, 6. 5, 6 to 5, 7. They're having very low velocities. So I will not tell, as a consultant, I will say, no, something is, is there's a problem there. I will now go there and work on those problems. Then that is how you do for um, you, you model your Epanet, you design it. Then the next thing I need to do is I can also, okay, somebody's not seeing my screen, okay? Yeah. Yes. Yes, mm, okay. I'm not seeing your screen. Okay, I'm not seeing your my, screen. You can see it now. Yeah. Okay. 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 So this is the report. Of what we just done did now. Yeah, I understand why you can't see my screen. So this is report, the end node, the start node, and everything. Now, um, um, what I will do now is first of all, um, we'll be recording this. I will. This is about forty minutes, so I will stop the recording.